Hi, in this video, I'm going to construct the question given to you guys on Friday for a UK quiz. So here's the question it says, using ruler and a pair of compasses only, A, construct parallelogram A, B, C, D with diagonals AC equals 10 centimeters, <coughs> excuse me, BD equals 7 centimeters, intersecting at K, and angle BKC equals 60 degrees. Recall that before you start your construction, it is always advisable to get a sketch of the question. So quickly, a sketch before we construct uh, the main diagram. So here is the parallelogram. We have a sketch of the parallelogram. All right. Debate. Suppose this is vertex A. This is vertex B and this vertex C and D. All right. Now we thought that the diagonal AC is 10 centimeters. Diagonal AC equals 10 centimeters. AC is 10 centimeters. Oh, why is this my diagonal not getting to C? Excuse me, you have to get to C. Diagonal AC is 10 centimeters. Good. So here is 10 centimeters. And diagonal BD is 7 centimeters. Perfect. All right. So the, the point of intersection of the two diagonals is labeled at K, and angle BKC is 7, 60 degrees. So here is the sketch of the question. So this is this will serve as a guide as you construct as she embark on the main construction. Okay, so let's construct the idea is that we, we start by constructing the diagonals. We sketch, we draw the length, a horizontal or, yeah, a horizontal line of length, seven centimeters. And since we know that these diagonals bisect each other, then we bisect that line of length seven centimeters, which is the diagonal BD, and at the center, at the middle of the line, we construct angle 60 degrees. So that's the idea. So let's go about doing that now. Uh, we need in my ruler and the pair of compass for this construction. So, like I said, Start by drawing the length or a line of length seven centimeters from zero to seven. So here is seven centimeters, and don't forget this is like diagonal uh, PD. Okay, that is point B, B, and here is point B. Okay, next, I need to locate the middle, construct uh, the middle of this point. So let's go as if we want to construct 
a perpendicular bisector of the line. That will help me locate the, the middle of the line, or the, yes, the center of the point of the line. Not center, the middle of the line. Yeah. All right. So draw an arc below like this. Another arc above with center D. Then center D. Center D. Draw an arc below and another one above to intersect the previous axe drum. All right, so you're done with that and get that out. Then with our ruler, draw a straight line that intersects or run to the point of intersection of those two axes. Okay, can you see that? Good. So since you are not interested in the line, you are only interested in the middle of this line. Just mark that. That is what I'm interested in. Then at that point, we are going to construct angle 60 degrees at that very point. So I'll bring in my compass. Let's get the compass there. Construct angle. 60 degrees. Okay. Let me expand this a little more. So I'm going to construct angle 60 degrees at this very point here. All right. So this is the procedure to construct angle 60 degree. I hope you all remember this. Okay, so here's my angle 60 degrees. The next is my ruler. <coughs> Let me rotate the ruler. With the ruler. Remember that the diagonal AC is length 10 centimeters. So, and they, don't forget they bisect each other. So the middle of that line should intersect with the middle of the initial line BD. And the middle, it should be five centimeters. So, and that should pass through angle 60 degrees. So make sure it is accurate. Let's try, let's endeavor, let's make sure that it is accurate. All right, I think this is good. Then you draw a straight line of length 10 centimeters starting from zero down up to 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. All right, so that is good. That is 10 centimeters. Now, with this, let's confirm if the angle constructed is actually 60 degrees before we proceed with the construction. So get your protractor and measure. Is that angle 60 degrees? All right, so that is 60, perfect. So now we've gotten, we've been able to construct our angle 60 degrees. Uh, I've gotten the two by set, the two diagonals. Next, let's now connect the end of the diagonal lines to form a parallelogram. Let's connect it to form a parallelogram. So I'm going to connect this side, and that will be side AB. All right. It's the same diagonal. Let's do that to the other side. That will be. By DC, uh, something is not done correctly because I'm not supposed to rotate this ruler after drawing, connecting this side. I'm supposed to, supposed to give me an exact connection here. 
But if you observe that, I see some space left here. So let's measure under 60 degrees again and see if it's actually accurate. Okay, this is a, a, a bit more than 60 degrees. That is the reason why uh, we, we saw that discrepancies. So let us try and connect at uh, 60 degrees, make sure it is accurate. And in doing that, I'm going to re reduce the uh, thickness of my pen. Let me do the thickness. And let's see how it goes now. So with that reduced thickness, let's try and run 360 again. At five. Rotate this. It has to be 60 and the dot exactly. Else our uh, construction will not be correct. It has to run to the center. So you make sure your measurement is accurate. Let's get an accurate measurement. So here is five running through the center. And I think that has start to go through 60 degrees. So let's start from zero. We'll draw a straight line starting from zero, runs through the center, passes through 60 and up to 10. Good. So this time around, let's measure angle again to see that it is 60 degrees exactly. If it's not, then something is seriously wrong. Let's measure. Okay, I think this is perfect now. Can you see that now? It is exactly 60 degrees, so we are good to go. So now that we've gotten a, uh, an angle exactly 60 degrees, so it means we can now connect the sides of the parallelogram. Let's connect it. Let's connect the sides of the parallelogram. All right, so let me increase let me go back and increase the thickness of my pencil. So let's connect the sides. The side is side AB. All right, so move the ruler up to get side DC. So you can see now this is, this is cool. I, have, I don't need to rotate my ruler again. I will get the exact as, what you call the placement. So that's the side DC. Then rotate the ruler also to get side a, um, CB and AD. I hope you are following me. All right. So let's rotate it to get an accurate measurement once you get the line drawn accurately. So this is, this is side DC. And finally, you have, finally you have side AD. Can you see that? Can you see that? So finally you have side AD. Perfect. So, I can go ahead and label the other sides. <clears throat> Let's label. So this is vertex C. Here is vertex A. And this is point K. That's the point of intersection of those two diagonals. And of course, this angle is 60 degrees. All right, 60 degrees. And what else? So the construction is done. Now next is to locate the locus. We have given two loci. So let's go back to the question and check. So now the question says, uh, construct the locus L1 of points equidistant from B and C. 
because L1 of point equidistant from D and C is the perpendicular bisector of BC. So let's bisect BC. Let's bisect BC. Expand this radius BC. Our compass should be radius BC. Center B. Draw an arc above and below. Let's start from here. Draw an arc above. And uh, excuse me. Let me make it of a different color of line. So that uh, you <clears throat> so that you can see the difference. Okay. So draw an arc. Excuse me. Draw an arc above and below. Arc above and below. Let me rotate my compass so I can draw on that arc below. All right, above and below. Good. So now center C, center C, and the same radius, draw another arc above and below to intersect the initial arcs drawn. Good. Just like this. And like this. I hope you are following me, every one of you, everybody. All right, good. So now, the next thing we need to do is to get back our ruler. Then draw a straight line that will run through the point of intersection of those arcs. So that straight line will be the line will be uh, locus L1 and that is the perpendicular bisector of line BC. So make sure your ruler is placed accurately. So let's get our, our locus. I'm still going to draw the locus with the red line, but this time around is going to be broken line. It's going to be broken. So here's locus L1. Okay. Uh, that is locus L1. And let's label it L1. Let's label it L1. So this is L O. Excuse me. My broken line is still selected. So let's make it continuous straight line. So this is L1. Good. So next. Let's go back to the question. This is the third part of the question. It says construct the locus L2 of point five centimeters from B. So locus L2 of point five centimeters from B should be a that should be a circle radius five centimeters center b that should be a circle radius five centimeters take your compass and open the compass to radius five centimeters Let's take it to reduce five centimeters. Expand this to five centimeters. Okay. And center D. Reduce five centimeters. Center D. The draw a circle. So in this case, let me still. Uh, change the color of my pencil so I, so I could get a very a red line so to represent my locus 2. 
All right, so that is perfect. So here is locus L2. I hope you are following me and this, this topic, the question is looking so simple. Very easy to do. <clears throat> so let's label this L2. All right, that is our construction. Construction is done. And let's see the questions that follows. So part B of the same question say, locate points of intersection M and N of loci L1 and L2. So let's, let's look at the point of intersection. So here is one point of intersection. So we'll call this point M, liberate M. Then this is another point of intersection over here. So we'll label that point N. Label the point N. Then the next question is <clears throat> measure M, N, and B, C. So let's measure M, N. Length M, N. Length M, N. Bear with me, I'm making use of my mouse so the handwriting is not too smooth. And length B, C. Length DC. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure length MN. The ruler starting from zero. Rotate your ruler down to M. So length MN is about. Okay, that's about nine point about nine point seven. That's approximately equal to nine point seven centimeters. Nine point seven centimeters. So let's see length DC. Then DC, place a zero at B or C. Right now I'm placing my ruler at, mark zero of my ruler at C. Then measure BC, BC is about 4.4, .4, let's say 4.4 .4 centimeters. 4.4 centimeters. And with this, the construction is complete. It's completed. So you can see it's very, very easy to do. All you need to do is keep practicing until you become a pro. So everything on construction, no matter how the question comes, it's something that you can easily do. So I, I encourage you all to keep on practicing. I'm not impressed by your responses. In fact, I had I got no response. <coughs> Excuse me. I got no response in the last class. Nobody attempted the question, so that was too bad. So right now I'm not happy with you guys. You should know. Please. It is better you attempt and fail the question than not to attempt at all. They have attempted at least by now that I'm doing my correction or solving the question myself. You, should, you have seen your mistakes and such mistakes will not come up again. But since you did not attempt, so you wouldn't know where your strength or your weaknesses are. Please, you guys should turn a new leaf. Thank you.